if you're obese or you have metabolic syndrome, caloric restriction will improve your testosterone. There has been a study, and they talk about all these studies in a systematic review from the Mayo Clinic proceedings. They note that there is a study in young, healthy men, and they calorically restrict them, and their testosterone does decrease. So if you're young and healthy and you don't have metabolic syndrome, then caloric restriction will likely decrease your testosterone. For the healthy, um, lean enough person, right, non-obese person, is intermittent fasting a bad idea in terms of hormone health? Is oscillating between this period of of kind of feast and famine within a 24 hours a problem if one is getting sufficient calories to maintain weight? So if they're in a caloric maintenance, then it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be deleterious. It's not going to be bad for their hormone health. There's a couple different hormones that we can talk about. We can talk about testosterone. We can talk about DHEA, which usually go hand in hand. And then we can also talk about growth hormone, which is not a steroid hormone, but it's a peptide hormone. So it's um, a chain of proteins, amino acids that are put together instead of a sterol. Think of sterol hormones as coming from cholesterol. So you do get a little spike in growth hormone after you eat, but you also get a huge spike in growth hormone, a more significant, less negligible spike overnight and that is improved if you are intermittent fasting. 